Well, good morning. Hey, Friday is rolled around quick this week. And uh, hey, listen, uh, again, before we get into today's lesson, I always thank you guys for coming on. Thank you for your comments. Um, we're looking forward to uh, many more great teachings and certain things of revelation to bring out uh, faith in you guys who always want to increase your faith. And so uh, be a believer in these days. Don't be a doubter. Be a believer. This is the year of the receiver. Be a believer to share and allow the Lord God to do something great in your life that he's always wanted to do for you, more so than what you want to do for yourself. He has greater things that he wants to release in your life. Now, we've been talking about uh, self-witchcraft, which is one of the forms of witchcraft uh, that's listed through the Bible. There are like five or six different types of uh, forms of witchcraft that's listed through the Word of God. And uh, we're talking about self-witchcraft because it is, a, it is a rebellion that we have within ourselves that suppresses the Word of God, uh, that causes us to have an attitude of intimidation, arrogance, uh, uh, even murder, bulliness, uh, trying to bully other people, looking down on other people. All kinds of things happen when we are, when we are under the influence of self-witchcraft, which is, again, rebellion, suppressing the Word of God in our life, the things that we should be feeding on. We are suppressing those things so that we can have our own control about things, all right? In uh, Proverbs chapter 18, and everybody knows this, you know where I'm going, death and life is in the power of the tongue. Well, the tongue is one of those uh, particular parts of our life, our body, that needs to have disciplinary warfare, all right? When we first, I said we, I'm talking about me and my wife because we had to learn this together. When we first started many years ago, man, it was, it, was, it was like, wow, I'm fighting her and she's fighting me. But we knew we weren't fighting each other because we had words that were wrong and we, would, we had given each other permission. If you hear me saying something, correct me. If I'm saying this, correct me. Because so, we knew the importance of getting our tongue straight. And only when you have that that ability of having a warden over you to correct things, you're not going to do anything with it. You're just going to keep on saying things out of your mouth that are coming out of your heart. And until you begin to recognize that the wrong thing is in your heart, you're not going to fix your tongue. And so we wanted to do that. We did that. And God bless, you know, we now, we only speak things that are based on truth, the word of God, uh, things that God's prophetic has shown us. We don't get into all that other stuff and saying things, even when things suddenly happen, okay? So death and life, chapter 18, all right? Beginning in verse 2, all right? Uh, and you got Proverbs, chapter 18. You guys with me? All right? Proverbs, chapter, it says, in uh, verse 2, it says, A fool have no delight in understanding, <laughs> but that his heart may discover itself, okay? Then we get over into... Verse 21, okay, verse 20. A man's belly shall be satisfied with the fruit of his mouth, and with the increase of his lips shall he be filled. Death and life are in the power of the tongue, and they that love it shall eat the fruit thereof. So if death and life is in the power of the tongue, I definitely need to discipline my tongue so that I can get life, not death, okay, constantly. So this is one of the areas that we really have to discipline ourselves in. And you've heard me say it before, over and over, you know, you've got to make sure that you're speaking the Word of God to God when you pray. You've got to make sure if you're decreeing things, you've got to be decreeing what God has shown you to decree, all right, so that those things can take place in your life. Uh, declarations change your physical atmosphere, okay? Brings things out of that invisible realm to this realm, okay? Well, witchcraft speaks against life. It speaks death, okay? It doesn't speak life. It speaks suppression, which causes you to go down. It speaks intimidation to cause you to be in fear, okay? Bullying is all about intimidation, okay? It's speaking fear to somebody, trying to get somebody to submit to somebody else's control, okay? I had a young lady one time in a counseling session fall down on her knees in there uh, because I was bringing out some things, and, and she cried out and said, Mama, you have won again. Now, to me, when I hear somebody say that, that simply means that somebody is putting so much pressure on somebody that, guess what, that they are submitting to it because they are unwilling to fight and stand for themselves under the Word of God. And I have heard all kinds of things in these days, all right? And I'm telling you, I'm sure you have too, okay? Now, the last thing we get to is our flesh, okay? Uh, when we get to un unrestrained flesh, okay, 
unrestrained flesh, okay, will cause you to have open doors to the enemy, all right? Please come over with me to the book of Galatians, you know, and uh, like I said, this has been a fast week, and, uh, you know, I'm glad you guys have been hanging tough. In the book of Galatians, chapter 5, I'm glad you guys are hanging in there, holding on to this. There's so much to this that, you know, it's always so much of stuff that we're teaching, but there's so much to this, and uh, sooner or later, probably sooner <laughs> than later, because uh, I'm, I'm doing a book on all of this stuff, you know, that we've learned over the years. Uh, you really need to get a grip on how deceptive the enemy is with you, okay? To make you believe something long enough, to hear yourself thinking it long enough, you'll set a pattern of belief in that thing, all right? And whenever you're suppressing the Word of God, whenever you're murmuring, whenever you're talking about somebody, lying on somebody, that's witchcraft. That's why lying is not allowed. That's why when I read that scripture over in Revelation chapter 21, he says all liars, he, he put you in the same category as somebody in, in witchcraft because it's, it's all in the same sin. It's all being led by demonic spirits, okay? In, in Galatians chapter 5, he says this. Now, again, I've got to restrain the appetites of the flesh. That's how I bring warfare disciplinary warfare on my body, okay? Everybody's flesh has sin in it, but Jesus has condemned sin in the flesh, okay? And because he's condemned it, that means that you can condemn it, okay? How do I condemn it? By restraining the appetites, okay? Don't let it do what it wants to do. Don't even let it think what it wants to think. It's like a little pet, you know, make it do what you want it to do, okay? He says this, Verse, verse 17, well, verse 16. This I say, then walk in the spirit and you should not fulfill the lust of the flesh. What is the lust of the flesh? Appetites, okay? And he says, for the, the flesh lust is against the spirit and the spirit against the flesh. And these are contrary one to another so that you cannot do the things that you would. That's how powerful it is. It's controlling your what? Your will, okay? It'll control your emotions. It'll not let you do what you want to do what you will to do, okay? Very, very powerful. But if you be led of the Spirit, you are not under the law. Now the works of the flesh, check this out, a manifest, which are these, adultery, fornication, uncleanness, lasciviousness, idolatry, and then here comes witchcraft. See, witchcraft in your flesh, okay? Witchcraft, a work of the flesh, all right? And so when you're working this week, and read all of these things, when you're working, Work out some disciplinary warfare strategy against everything about you. I'm not saying we destroy ourselves. No, it's discipline. And you have to have a disciplined life to walk in the things with the Spirit of God. Discipline your mind. Discipline, you know, your tongue. Discipline your will. Discipline your emotions. Discipline your flesh. Discipline your tongue. Make these things happen every day and allow the Word of God to raise you up because he is the lifter up of our heads. Amen. God bless you. Thank you for being with us uh, this week on Daily Bread. And I pray that your faith is increased more and more through the things that you've heard this week. In Jesus' name. God bless you. Pray for this nation. Pray for the people in this nation. That they will not be suppressed. Because that's what's going on in much of this nation. Pray that they will not be suppressed with all of the stuff that's happening out there. And that those who are believers may stand in a place to have pity on those who are not believers, that you might pray more for them and bring the will of God into their life. Amen. God bless you. We'll see you here next week on Daily Bread. Amen.